meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, as always in the summer months, keeping a close eye on the tropics. Nothing in the Atlantic Ocean right now to be concerned about, but we are keeping our eye on a disturbance that's in the southeastern United States. It's over land right now, no tropical characteristics with it. But as it emerges back off the North Carolina coastline later this week and then heads northward, National Hurricane Center are giving this about a 40% chance of developing some tropical characteristics. The bottom line for us is it has the potential to bring in tropical downpours, some heavier rainfall as well as some embedded thunderstorms. We'll show you more on the timing of that in just a moment. Nothing out there right now on the radar. Live Doppler all quiet and expected to stay that way through the daytime today. We do have some extra cloudiness though still in place along the coastline starting to break up inland. We're seeing some partial sunshine here in North Situate. It's a real comfortable morning. The humidity is low. The temperatures are in the 60s and we'll see cooler than normal temperatures for today before a stretch of warm and humid air takes over. So Boston right now 64, Providence 66, and we're in the upper 60s in Westerly. Those dew points right around the lower 60s today, it's very comfortable in general for a July day. But after that, as those dew points rise tonight, we're going to see a stretch of oppressive air. Now, one of the things that's going to make us more prone to is some pop up thunderstorm activity. So we don't need to worry about that today. Nine o'clock this morning, clouds and sunshine mixing. Brightest skies will be further to the east. High temperatures mid to upper 70s today. Inland coastal areas will be a few degrees cooler with winds off the water out of the southeast. We're still going to hang on to at least some partial sunshine into the early evening hours, but the trend will be for the clouds to thicken up. And there could actually be a spot shower overnight with lows staying in the mid to upper 60s and that higher humidity moving in. We'll talk about that too. Beaches today, mix of clouds and sunshine, reaching highs in the lower 70s, water temperature upper 60s with the surf about two to three feet and a low rip current risk. I do expect the winds to pick up some on the bay out of the southeast and then south, gusting to 15 knots with waves one to three feet in the bay. High tide, 1015 this morning. For tonight, I expect to see increasing clouds, increasing humidity, and generally increasing uncomfortable air. We have the chance for a quick light shower as this warm front pushes through. That's what's going to unleash the muggies for us. Let's take an hour by hour look at the forecast for tonight. So nothing heavy, but tomorrow morning may be a little bit damp in spots, mist drizzle in an isolated shower. Doesn't last all day. Much of the afternoon and evening is going to be dry. There will be a few random showers and thunder storms across southern New England tomorrow, but most of the activity should stay to the west. The best chance of getting an isolated storm is north and west of Providence tomorrow in the late afternoon and evening. I think we all get a little bit of rain, maybe more than a little bit as we head into later Friday and Saturday. Here's that low pressure I mentioned in the southeast United States. So if you take a look at the timestamp, this is Friday morning. That rain filling in and potentially turning heavy at times by Friday night and into Saturday morning. So right now Saturday is looking pretty damp, especially in the morning hours. We'll keep you updated on it. The timing and track of that may change a little bit as we're still several days out. So seven day forecast prior to that, a pop up thunderstorm possible on Wednesday afternoon and then again on Thursday. I expect it to be hot and humid Thursday. Upper 80s for highs away from the coastline, lower 80s at the shore with an isolated storm. And then we'll be keeping an eye on the start of the week and Sunday's looking drier. Just an isolated shower or thunderstorm mid 80s for the second half of the weekend.